War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. <laughs> What's up, my pilots? Air Poncho here. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James. We did it. A son. Our beautiful son. You mean handsome. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Yeah, nuclear waste Look bright. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. I'm your daddy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Shafid? What a horrible name for a boy. That's a girl's name. Jeez, we we're, we're our name's Poncho, okay? Then get it straight, pops. Uh, and C H O. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. I do think so. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You mean being twenty isn't counting as grown up? Yeah, if my voice sounds strange, it's because I spent four hours yesterday. Uh, cheering for my home football team in person, so I'm quite a bit hoarse. But that's alright. I'd probably sound a lot worse if I'd just been born. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. Let's make a face. Okay, I think that that's, uh, that's gonna be me. That's alright, I guess. Ah, there might be a better hairstyle in here, but... I don't know, they blast back. I've never used this hairstyle before. I know that there are times later in the game where you can change it, but I typically don't. Don't go for that sort of thing, so we'll just go with this. I like it. You're going to look a lot like your dad. What? See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? An evil asshole. Just James? Catherine? James? Catherine? She's in cardiac hey. arrest. Start compression. What the heck? Baby out of here. Move, move. Dude. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. 
Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Man, being born is traumatic. We need a doctor, not a dead Fail to meet my expectations and there will be no Why is it so bright? Don't look straight into the light, pal. You'll hurt your eyes. Ugh. It's just something you get used to down here. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. I'm a baby! Even babies don't have feet when they look down. Ah, uh, well. Video games. So this is the point where we start being able to do things. We can actually move around. Over and here. how do I pick up toys? There it is. No, I thought you I had a teddy for a second there. Ooh, give me the rattle. Yeah. Rattle, rattle. Shake, rattle, and roll. What does shake go rattle and roll? That song would fit well in this game. What's all this? Hmm. Oh, this my. This must be my 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 room. I my dad's Over room here. apparently. There's his bed and my crib. Missiles and rockets Just and jet further. planes and such flying above the. That's horrible. In the, in a world with a nuclear apocalypse, you're gonna have this kind of shit. Hovering over your baby's crib? That's oh, yeah. horrible. Are they just that desensitized to it all? I don't know. We actually kind of talk Count now, to too. Daddy. Listen to this. Hey, you that sounds just it. like me when I was one. What a great role playing aspect. Come to Daddy. Oh, there yeah. you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. <laughs> your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. What? I'm one year old! Just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. This is neglect! I need a babysitter! Oh, I can get out? Damn, I'm smarter than a one year old, aren't I? Oh, a ball! Play with the ball, play with the ball, play with the ball. Hee <laughs> Wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, escaping! Ha 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 ha! Oh, I can't pick, I can't. Yeah, I need a lockpick skill of 100. Well, that's not very likely, considering I'm a one-year-old. Hmm. I guess I'll play with my toys. Let's see, is this a jack-in-the-box? Or just a block? Hmm, I think it's just a block. But why would you just have one block? We can't build anything with one block. Look at the Your Special book. Oh! I can read at one year old? Wow, I really have accelerated. S is for strength. That means I am strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. P is for perception. A long funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, saw, and heard. E is for endurance. That's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. C is for charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make all my friends laugh and smile and never want to hate. I is for intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like math and science and art. I'm totally taking some liberties with the order of the words in these sentences. <laughs> A is for agility. That's how I get around. I move real fast and easy, baby, and never make a sound. L is for luck, and it's simple, you see? It means that good things always happen to me. And now we get to spread out those points through our stats. Now, this is sort of the baby version of what the points really, what these stats actually mean. And you, we'll get another expl a better explanation later, uh, during the tutorial zone, but you know, a little bit later. Uh, so essentially, you want high intelligence and agility. That's sort of important for your your skills and your point and your combat. Uh, and the, the other stats are all sort of a toss up. I always take all the points out of luck. And I know that min maxing in a Fallout game isn't really the best way to role play with it, but it just uh, luck is so useless. I can't stand wasting points by putting. I know it ups your chance to get a critical and it ups all your skills by a little bit, but. It's just such a garbage stat. I always take the points out of it. And I used to always take all my points out of Charisma, and then I realized that I was missing out on a lot of great game content that comes from speech checks. So I leave that at around five, 4 or 5 now. Uh, we want a little more endurance, because that will help our uh, health go up. So I think that these are the stats that I'm going to play with now. So I'm not min-maxing, really. 
I'm just dropping luck down uh, to put a couple more points onto endurance. So that's just really all there is. Uh, four, four and up for most stats. So that's I feel like this is a fair role-playing character. And we, we'll get another chance to move those around later. All right, I think I've been neglected long enough. Where's my parental supervision? I'm gonna protest. I'm gonna trip him up when he. <laughs> I think I saw another LP that it's like, oh, I'm gonna put shit in front of the door to trip him when he comes in. Oh yeah, I'll put, I'll put the ball over there. That'll be perfect. Oh, I was in the pen the whole time. You never saw a thing. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Damn. Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Yeah, man. I want to show you. Hit you with a block. Ugh. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. That is kind of pretty. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to... Ooh! So excited. Ooh, I can open this door. <laughs> awesome! Oh, it's so bright again. Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Wow, this is our second birthday of the LP. He is growing up so fast. Wow! Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother. Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Who are you? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. What? So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. Huh? You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. So here's the achievement. Somebody asked me to show these, just, just to get to this point in the game. It's basically for doing nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Growing oh, up fast. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Ha, punk! You ain't ten, Paul Hennon. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hmm, wait a minute. For having been in a vault for the past 200 years, how have we managed to maintain so much racial diversity? What are you looking at, dork face? Were there either some serious inbreeding going on Happy within birthday. each race, or Attention we have a lot more people than we, we have a lot less people now than we used to? It's weird. Andy, wait. Hey, Amada, how's it going? Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah, but only because you blinded me. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were onto us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Well, thanks, bitch. Jeez, that's so mean, and on my birthday too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you didn't f you didn't fool me for a second. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Um, first edition Grognak the Barbarian comic book. <laughs> a date with Christine Kendall? <laughs> what? Gross. I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. What? The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks. What the hell just happened over here? Um. <laughs> oh, great. So, School bullies. Did you just, just totally destroy all my cake, man? Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I... Man, that's so crazy that the ooh party hats. Oh yes, I should put one on. Oh man, there's too much dialogue going on. I know you guys can't can't catch any of that. Let's go to my apparel and put my party hat on. And now we can go ahead and go in third person mode. Woo! I have a body now. This is the first time you can do this. We can zip around and you act, you act, the game actually generates a ten year old version of your face. I thought this was really neat the first time I found it. And as you can see, I look really happy on my birthday with my spectacular birthday hat and all the presents I've received so far. 
and my destroyed cake. I'm having a great birthday. This is my first work assignment tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be joyous. Hey, hey, Grandma. How's it going? Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Uh, what? Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't Jeez, you? Jeez, what filthy language. <laughs> yes, please. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Oh, right. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. <gasps> You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Oh, Thanks, old lady Palmer. My own sweet roll. Are you How does this remind me of the opening of Morrowind? I thought there was a sweet roll involved there. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Hey, go soak your head, Butch. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. You're gonna be sorry, you I wasn't worried. What? Why are you punching me? What the heck's going on? I'm glad you can make it. I'm yielding. Butch, what do you think you're, you're doing? Really Leave him alone. You, with me, punk. you all right, son? Yeah, I'm good. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Uh-huh. He tried to steal my sweet roll. God, he really is a butthead. Oh, well. You can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. <laughs> Get it? Ha 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 I'm gonna eat my sweet roll. How are you Let's see. Aid. Sweet roll! Om nom nom. Now I'm healed from my punch in the face. That was actually even funnier dialogue you can have with Butch. I'll see if I can get any of it. No, I guess it's, he's done talking to us now. But, uh, it turns out that you happen to know your character, Cannon, somehow knows that his mom's kind of a drunk. And you can infuriate him to attack you. Not only with the go soak your head comment, but also with the, aw, what, did your mom drink up all the ration coupons again? <laughs> what a dick. Hey, Stanley. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Yeah, thanks for putting it together for me, man. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Well, thanks again. Did I get a present from you yet? Here I am going on about your Pip Boy, and I clean forgot about your present. What? Here you go. Happy birthday. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Oh, thanks. A baseball cap! Well, now I gotta decide between the party hat and the baseball cap. Let's Thanks see. Again for coming. Oh yeah, look at I love the hat. You can tell from my expression. That I just that is the best gift I have ever received. Okay. Like Where are you going, Dad? Can't leave the party now. You're the birthday boy's father. Ooh, balloons. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, it's too bad we can't make uh, silly silly sounds now. So uh what's what's Jonas? going on here now? Hey, Gomez. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Uh, I really don't want to talk about it. He just, you know, he tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. Well, that's an early start. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Oh, man. Why does it always got to be drama? Thanks. I'll send him right down. What, who's that on your com? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Ooh. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Well, I don't think anyone would even notice. There's so many people here. Oh, <sighs> all right. Reactor level, you say? This way? Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. I, well, uh... <laughs> don't... <laughs> I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. Of course you're not five. <laughs> You're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own Pip-Boy. And do you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. Um, thanks so much. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Okay, hey, well, where's the poem? Did I get, where, where is it in here? Uh, data notes. There it is. Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation. Don't give a. D d d d d yeah, well, you can. I'm just gonna scroll through this, and you can read it uh, yourselves. Sort of pause the video a little bit. 
it's really lame. It's 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 all sort of well, it's sort of just uh, what you call it. It's brainwashing. It's like communist brainwashing. Except it isn't communist. It's fascist brainwashing. All hail the overseer. Great and dark walls in this world. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, I ain't ten. I'm. <laughs> I ain't a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Ooh. I already can tell this LP is going to be great. A game full of dialogue like KOTOR are and this Are you ready one. for your surprise? Uh, what kind of surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. <gasps> it's a little old. But it should work perfectly. Gee, thanks, Pop. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Gee, Dad. We can't shoot down here. Not inside the vault. We sure can't. Unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Ooh, where could we possibly be going in this enclosed environment to shoot a gun? Mm, what's in the intercom? There's no response from the intercom. Dun 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 dun. Do I have the gun yet? Oh, I have the gun. Hell yes. <laughs> what in God's name is wrong with you? <laughs> There's a funny line you can get him to say sometimes. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is great, Dad. Thanks so much. A shotgun? Oh, God. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Oh, I'll, I'll do that right now. Thanks, Jonas. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. You're so great. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. What a wonderful guy. I hope nothing bad ever happens to him. Hey. Shoot the targets, okay? <laughs> Not a toy. Whoops! I'm sorry, I'm new at this. Son, I brought you into this world. I think you know the rest. <laughs> That's the line. I love that line. Oh, okay, yeah, just shoot the targets. It's not very hard. This controller is not the best mechanism for aiming these sorts of things, but it works. Hey! Whoa. Get over here, you. Can I use vats? I can. Wow. Welcome to Vault Tech! A targeted uh, ugh, vault tech assisted targeting system or VATS. Shouldn't that be V T A T S? VTATS? Vault Tech Assisted Targeted System? Yeah, it's a VTATS. Alright. Number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Your action points are determined by your agility. So that's why you want high agility if you want to use VATS. So basically, you just select where you want to shoot and the game does it for you pretty much. And you get these epic slow motion cutscenes of bodies flying through the air. Oh, it's great. Let's put the gun away. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Uh -huh. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Why am I not just hey, the Jonas, amazing? Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. This is the best birthday ever. Smile. 